thing I just want to talk about was uh, an interesting development um, that I saw come out of Qualcomm, who's a major uh, chip manufacturer in mobile uh, and, and uh, in the mobile world, and and they have released uh, uh, last week about ninety odd models. Now, what's unique about these are these are um, quantized and 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 made sure that these are going to be running in an edge device like a mobile phone with a Snapdragon chip. Um, so what does this mean? I think we have been talking about a lot of these technologies. When we started, everything was server side. Then uh, me and Rajni, we have been playing with the locally uh, installed large language model, how you can make use of it, but you still need a little bit of a powerful machine like with a GPU. Now we are going into these open source models where these are quantized in a specific way, because we saw this, I think Rajni was able to demonstrate with the Samsung AI, right? You had an edge device doing translation, you had an edge device doing uh, image recognition, other things. Um, and now open sourcing this means a lot of people can participate in this, right? Now we can take this and, and see what we can do with the edge device. Yes, it's not gonna be as good as the server side or even a powerful computer, but I think there's enough in there to start using the leverage the edge compute. Um, another fun thing I saw from this is that some of these are TensorFlow uh, light. So that means it makes me curious. Maybe I can take this and run it in a browser. So I do, again, edge is, uh, cool. browser is also edge device, right? So. Maybe you don't need to tax a laptop. You can run certain things in the browser itself. There's different um, ways we can skin this. So that's why I'm excited. A lot of these, you can see stable diffusion to anywhere from Whisper, which is basically uh, speech to text, um, and then a um, lot of other fun uh, image resolution models, how to get a high resolution image from a low resolution image. Um, and what else did I see? Uh, yeah, motion detection, like uh, like it, it can recognize uh, emotions or body movements, these kind of models. Um, yeah, oh, so people like should take a look at it. Like just on face. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely. Awesome. That is very cool. So that's so the... Uh, gonna, I think we, we, uh, that was a hypothesis, right? That we were going to have smaller and smaller models and looks like this is a step in the right direction as far as uh, being able to run on your mobile phone, which is, or you, what you made sense is on your... Um, browser makes it how do you say more usable and takes it away from uh, nerds uh, like us. I should say, make it clear. Uh, running on a GPU and a own, uh, you know, running these models now becomes more mainstream. I think these things have to happen for this to evolve, where everybody can use it without having to think about how do I set this up, how do I make this work, right? So I know a lot more of these. Um, I know the next topic I want to cover about agents is. The most popular agents right now are things that run on the browser because you really kind of make a mistake and the, the, the risk of running agents in the browser is a lot lower than let's say it's a product or a customer service somebody who's serving up something new uh that uh, because the browser you pull in, it's just a retrieval thing right so anyway i think i think it's exciting especially some of these um models at whisper i would love to be able to run it off a browser that just makes life so much easier Right. I think the key takeaway is I think it's decentralizing this technology and also democratizing. In, in other words, if you want to run something local in your browser and see what happens, I mean, you can totally do that without sharing everything with the with the other people, right? So uh, I think it has a positive effect in that sense. Um, so we'll see how this, uh, we'll keep you guys posted, uh, whoever is watching the show, um, on, on these latest, latest development. Perfect.